The crisis in Sudan, the humanitarian situation is reaching a breaking point as the U.S. sends a second convoy to evacuate American citizens trapped in the war-torn country. Foreign correspondent Brick Clement has the story. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, George. Well, yeah, the deadly fighting between two rival military forces in Sudan is entering a third week. The ceasefire now extended, but the scramble to flee the violence is intensifying with another U.S. convoy now successfully taking evacuees out of the danger, completing a very risky journey to Saudi Arabia. This morning, a second U.S. military ship safely evacuating around 300 people from the violence in Sudan. Saudi media saying a third of them are Americans. According to the State Department, nearly 1,000 U.S. citizens have already been evacuated since the conflict began. These buses with drones guarding them from above used to take evacuees on a dangerous 500-mile journey to safety. From Khartoum to Port Sudan, eventually arriving in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. The rush to get out causing chaos at some borders. These satellite images showing cars and crowds of refugees at the Egyptian border. In Cairo, more than 100 evacuees landed overnight thanks to an evacuation flight run by a U.S. military veteran. Meanwhile, conditions on the ground are deteriorating. Bodies piling up in the street, while residents report little access to drinking water, food or fuel. Well, the United States says it is closely monitoring the extension of this very fragile truce that was agreed by both sides. The ceasefire has so far failed to stop the intense fighting. Michael. All right, Britt, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.